Hello my loves and welcome back to another yoga flow. Today's yoga flow is perfect for any time that you are feeling overwhelmed. So meet me in the center of your mat and just gently start swinging back and forth. Really being loose and playful with this motion. Just allowing that energy to start moving in your body. A lot of time overwhelm comes from undirected energy. So we're giving it a purpose and a movement. Then we're going to make big circles with our arms swinging backwards and then doing the same thing moving forwards breathing and feeling that sensation all right go ahead and spread your feet a little bit wider and then we're going to bring our hand up and gently tug our head to the left releasing any tension we feel in that neck Breathing and again, noticing that sensation that you're feeling in your body. Go ahead and take it to the other side. With each stretch, we're starting to melt into this present moment and letting that frustration and overwhelm melt away into our mat, into the ground. As we release that stretch, go ahead and release your head to the front, just kind of gently swing it back and forth. Then come back to center and we're going to go ahead and walk to the front of our mat in mountain pose. So our feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Our shoulders are up and back and down. Gaze is forward, really elongating through that spine out through the crown of your head. Then go ahead and take a big inhale with me, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward into a forward fold. Inhale, coming into a halfway lift, extending that spine, exhaling back down into a forward fold, putting those palms on your mat, stepping back into a plank for just a moment, pausing there as we take a deep breath in that plank position, shoulders over wrists, then dropping your knees into tabletop and then we're going to do some cat cows so go ahead and do these at your own pace but when you inhale you're looking up towards the sky arching the back exhale tuck that tailbone in around your back chin to chest inhale arch your back exhale around your back keep going at your own pace deeply inhaling in and deeply exhaling rounding and arching. Then come back to tabletop and we're going to extend our left arm to the side and then bring it through, threading the needle, reaching towards the other side of your mat and then extending that right hand over the top of your mat. Breathing into this gentle twist as our hips are still in the air, letting go any of that overwhelm that we're feeling, letting our breath Bring us back to this moment. Then we're going to take it back to center and do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, reach that right arm towards the side of your mat. Then sweep it through towards the opposite side of your mat. And then bringing your left arm straight overhead. Threading the needle. Gently twisting your spine. Breathing into the sensations that you're feeling in your body. Go ahead and meet me back in tabletop, shoulders over wrists. And then we're going to widen the hips a little bit, bring our toes together, keep the palms at the front of our mat as we lean it back into child's pose. Really taking nice, intentional, deep breaths in this pose. Feeling that tension release in your spine and your shoulders. You can even take your hands to the right side of your mat, still in child's pose, getting a slight Lean in your spine in a side stretch here. And then you can take it to the other side of your mat. Still taking nice, deep breaths. And then back to center. And then meet me back in tabletop as we pop up then into plank, tucking your toes under, and then bringing our hips towards the sky, pressing our palms into the mat, and downward facing dog. Now you can bend your knees if you need to, but we're keeping that spine nice and straight. Then we're going to inhale and reach that right foot up in the air, three-legged dog. 
and then sweep that right foot through into a low runner's lunge. So both palms are still on the mat. You're kind of rocking back and forth as you lean into that hip stretch. And then lower your back knee. Bring both hands to your right knee. And again, lean into that right hip as we start to loosen up our hip joint. And we're going to bring both hands behind our back, doing a quick bind making our chest nice and proud. Then on the next inhale, we're going to straighten that front leg and lean our chest into a quick hamstring stretch. Lowering it as far as we can, breathing into that sensation. You may wobble a little bit here and that's okay. Allowing what comes in each moment. Lean it back into that low lunge, both palms back on the ground and then we're popping it back up into downward facing dog. Walk the dog if you need to, stretching out those hamstrings. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift that left leg nice and high in the air. Then we're gonna sweep it through into a low lunge in between our palms, rocking back and forth into that hip stretch. And then lowering that back knee and bring your hands to your left knee. Chest up nice and proud and tall. Again, leaning into that hip stretch. Bring those biceps up by your ears. Breathing into this moment. And then take your hands behind your back into a quick bind. Shoulders are up and back and down. Chest is nice and proud and tall. Then we're gonna straighten that front leg and lean our chest forward again into a quick hamstring stretch on the left side, lowering our chest as far as we can. Then coming back into a low lunge, both palms on the ground, back into plank, and then popping it up into one more downward facing. Go ahead and lower onto your knees into a quick tabletop and then gently meet me in a laying position. Take your time getting there. We're going to keep our legs bent and then take our right ankle and put it over our left knee. Then bringing our grasp under that left knee and pulling that leg towards our chest. Still pushing that right knee towards the bottom of your mat. Doing a laying figure four here. You can even stretch out that left ankle if you need to. And then we're going to switch it to the other side. So now our left ankle is over our right knee, pulling that right knee towards our chest, pushing your left knee towards the bottom of your mat, breathing into this moment, releasing and allowing. All right, go ahead and lower your feet onto your mat. We're going to press our feet and our palms into the mat and raise our hips into a bridge. I like to kind of swing my hips back and forth in a bridge pose, but do what feels right to you. I'm also going to put my hands in a bind so I can push up as far as I can. Taking a nice deep breath here. And then slowly releasing. Bring those knees towards your chest for a quick hug. Then we're going to straighten our left leg, keeping that right knee towards our chest. Lowering your arms into cactus pose and bring that right knee towards the left side of your mat and your gaze towards the right side of your mat into a gentle twist. Twists are such a beautiful opportunity to let go. Letting go of that overwhelm that is plaguing our awareness in this moment. Then we're going to hug that right knee towards our chest again. Switch it to the left knee. Do the same thing on the other side. So lowering that left knee towards the right side of your mat, bringing your gaze towards the left side of your mat in a gentle twist, breathing into this pose, allowing what needs to be to be. Then bringing that knee and your gaze back towards the center, hugging that knee in one more time, lowering both legs, then go ahead and raise yourself up. We're going to do legs up the wall to end out this practice. Or if you want to stay in Savasana, you can do what feels best to you. But legs up the wall is so good for dealing with overwhelm. 
So I'm going to place my hand on my stomach and my heart and breathe into this moment. Letting go of anything else I didn't let go of in my practice. Allowing my awareness and my mind and my body to just be. And continuing to take nice, deep, intentional When thoughts come up, I just exhale them away and come back to this practice. You can continue with your legs up the wall or in traditional savasana if you want. Go ahead and meet me in the center of your mat in seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this practice recentered you from your overwhelmed feelings. I will see you in the next yoga flow. Namaste.